shit. One Piece chapter 634. Man. Kato just read this chapter, right? So you mean to tell me a hundred thousand people show up? I'm thinking, like, like Sanji, we gotta take up ten thousand a piece. As soon as Luffy hears Hody Jones say, Yeah, I'm about to go to be the next king of the pirates, Luffy just snaps and says, It wasn't you saying you're going to the reverie that you're gonna kill all of the world leaders. I don't care about that shit. I don't care you're going to enslave all people on this island. I don't care about that either. I don't care that you're going to kick some granny somewhere. I don't care about that either. You, King of the Pirates, okay, we got a problem. I like how his eyes just fade out. Oda writes in the word snap. And everyone's just getting hyped. I'm like, oh shit, man, straw has is about to go down, yo. It's about to go down, Luffy. All of a sudden just starts walking. And I'm like... Wait, the Straw Hats always have a walk somewhere. Like, these niggas always walk in somewhere, right? They walk in somewhere. Like, it's always like, walk to uh, Arlon Park. Walk to Frankie House. Walk to uh, Annie's Lobby. Like, they're always walking somewhere. Fuck that, Luffy said. No, 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 no. We ain't having no Straw Hats walk. We having Luffy walks. And when Luffy walked, right? Like, you got like the Kanye West, G, sis, walk. Like you got you got that shit playing, right? Like the, the woo 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 woos. You got all that shit going. Luffy just glares at him. Supreme King hockey and all of a sudden half of them fall out. Fifty thousand just drop completely unconscious. I was impressed when Shanks just walked onto the ship. Holding this big gourd of uh, alcohol and everybody just dropped dead, right? Everybody just dropped dead. And it's like, oh shit. Bend over and take a nigga. Like, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> Luffy just takes them all out. And I like how Straw Hats, some of them recognize what it is. And it makes sense. Nico Robin will recognize it because, I mean, Dragon's the leader of the Revolutionary Army. Chances are this dude probably got an unknown hockey. Like, I mean, it makes sense that she knows, right? And she's seen some crazy stuff. Like, she's seen crazy stuff because of what she's had to do to survive. That's why I said, like, I actually like Nico Robin's character. I like it a lot. I, I like her origin story a lot. I, I like what she's been through. I just troll her because I know it gets a reaction out of some of you guys, man. Like, I've, I've even gotten uh, messages and shit through YouTube and through uh, the Twitter stuff, you know, people threatening me and shit, because I, I troll Nico Robin. What? I'm right here. <laughs> now, real talk, though, right? Like, like getting into that, like, makes sense for Nico Robin to know. It makes sense for Sanji to know, because he's on that island with all the cross-dressers, so, of course, he had to learn hockey there. And I like how Zoro, right? And this is another thing. Zoro versus Luffy is coming. I don't know how, I don't know when, but just how when you had Usopp saying, <laughs> yeah, I'm the true captain of the Straw Hats, and all these offhand comments, and it was just slowly passive-aggressive shit, and at the time, you're like, it's just Usopp being Usopp, but right now, we got Zoro, yet again, saying, yeah, if he couldn't use that, I was going to have to take over as leader of the crew, so this is another statement. It's another statement I, I specifically told you guys. After seeing the Usopp versus Luffy stuff, all the way back in Annie's, not Annie's Lobby, Water 7, right? I was like, what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on with the Straw Hats? Because this crew has a lot of people who could be their own captains in their own right. Run their own crews. Zoro, crew of uh, swordsmen. Luffy, a crew of meat lovers. Chopper, a crew of all the animals in the petting zoo that Oda likes to visit and get his rocks off when he does One Piece. Usopp, a crew of, of liars. Nami, a crew of supermodels. Nico Robin, a, a crew of homeless girls. Like, all of the Straw Hats could be their own crewmates of their own, right? I mean, the crewmates, own, own captains of their own crew. But Zoro, again, says... 
I would have had to take over. Back during Water 7, he says, hey, you're our captain. Grab your fucking ball sack, get your big boy panties on, and be firm in your conviction. Who else are we supposed to follow if you have to doubt yourself? You can't be doing that. So again, this is another little moment that makes me go, what the hell? And it would make sense if at some point Luffy has tension with each member of the crew and it makes sense for there to be a reconciliation period because so far we've got it with Usopp. Looks like we're getting it with Zoro. We've got it with Nami where he and Nami had that falling out during All Long Park where Nami went rogue and did her own thing. Luffy had to reel her ass back in and say, hey, I get, you know, what happened with Bellamere. That's so sad. That's so tragic. I slept through the origin story. Didn't really give a fuck about it. I just know that you're my crew. You're hurting right now. I'm going to go handle this shit. Trust me. Luffy has to beat some sense into each member of the crew in some type of way. With Nico Robin, he's like, damn, girl. Did you really think I was going to let you die? Yeah, my crew. Hello, bitch. You can't die. You need my permission to die. And even then, I don't let you die. I refuse your refusal to let me refuse to let you die. Do you get that? Do you refuse? Good. You don't refuse because I refuse your refusal. Like, that's the type of shit Luffy has, right? Like, Luffy is black and white, cut and dry with them. So, look at that. Like, it's building up. It's building up and it makes the most sense. It makes the most sense that Luffy has to reel in each, each of these people at some point. So, Luffy versus Zoro, that is coming. I don't know when, I don't know how, but that is coming. So, moving on to this chapter, right? Moving on, right? I like how when it opens up, Luffy says, Jinbi, you say I need a plan. And Luffy, I don't do plans, right? You don't say, I'm paraphrasing. But when it opens up, he says, you want me to be a hero? No way. Jinbi's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I'm a fishman. I told you. Humans, fishmen, we don't get along. Like, that shit don't work. It don't work that way. Like, if we're going to do this, we do this my way. My way says that we're fishmen. You're humans. You're going to save me. It's going to look like you're the hero. Luffy's like, ah, we ain't doing that shit. Listen to me now. Luffy says, we're pirates. I love heroes, but I don't want to be one. And this is what I was thinking, right? I think in that moment... Luffy was thinking like, yeah, I love my granddad. My granddad's a hero. I don't want to do that shit. I'm a fucking pirate. Like, I'm a pirate, baby. Like, I don't save people. And this is what Luffy says. He says, do you even know what a hero is? And I'm like, do you know what a hero is? Luffy, the, the idiot of the series, the, the prototypical idiot shown in main character. The shonen trope for the idiot, right? I'm like, do you know what a hero is? Can you spell hero? Can you use it in a sentence? Is hero an adjective or verb or noun? What is a hero, Luffy? Can you give me a synonym for it? Luffy says, okay, let's say there's a bunch of meat. I'm going, okay, this is Luffy. Only he would associate this shit with food. But okay, let's see what he got to say. Let's see what he got to say. He says... Let's say there's a bunch of meat. Pirates, they have feasts. And they eat all the meat. But heroes, they give the meat to the other people. I want to eat the meat. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, like Luffy is reminding me, like, Luffy's reminding me of all my friends. Like, when, when, when he drinks, he just says, like, the most random shit. And it's just like, you know, he'd be sitting there, he'd be like, okay, which one of us is driving his ass to his apartment? Because this ain't going to work. This dude's completely off his fucking rockers, yo. Like, he's sitting there like, yeah, there, there's people like me and there's people like you. And we work because there's people like me and people like you. It's okay. Sit the fuck down. This shit ain't working. This shit ain't working. Like, I remember one time he was just like, yeah, you're black. I'm white. He's brown because he's Mexican. We have colors. I'm, I'm damn near quoting this shit, by the way. He says, we have colors. We have rainbows. It all makes sense. We need to do away with the rainbow. Do you understand? I'm black. You're... Wait. He's brown. 
you're white. No, I'm white. You're bl- okay. You've been drinking too much, dog. Sit down. Like that's the type of shit Luffy is on, right? And even then, Nami's just sitting there with her beautiful self. Like, what kind of analogy is that? What kind of analogy is that shit? And then Jim B says, hey, I'll feed you the meat. All you have to do is do as I say. Luffy says, ah, deal. You fickle motherfucker, Luffy. Are you serious right now? That's all it takes. That's all it takes. For you to get some meat and you like, ah, oh, fuck yeah. I mean, it makes sense though. You know, Luffy, let me quit that. That was going to be a dirty joke. That was going to be a really dirty joke. But I like the fact that, yeah, we're seeing that, right? And I like how in the Straw Hats, they're all getting, you know, the little moments. Like, Brooke's like, man, Mermaid Princess is a babe. Can I see your panties? And Nami just knocks the hell out of them. Again, when I see Nami and I see big lumps on the heads of these characters, I love it. It is hilarious. As one shonen gag I will never get tired of. I love it. And what I also love about that, right, is... The straw has to completely ignoring the fact this a hundred thousand people ready to kick their asses. I guess Luffy's just like, yeah, watch this shit. Knocks them all out, and that's when he says, like, hey, okay, I just took out half of them. Holy Jones, you and me, it's only one king of the pirates, yo. It's one king of the pirates, it's gonna be me. So you're either gonna be allowing Sanji to cook your ass, or I'm gonna kick your ass, and then Sanji's gonna cook you. So which one's it gonna be? You can be the sushi I have when I become king of the pirates. So, hands down, this is a good chapter. So, my chapter question to you guys is, where are you on my theory of Team Luffy versus Team Zoro? What are your thoughts about that? And, if Luffy and Zoro were to fight right now, who do you think, this is twofold, who do you think will win in a fight right now? And then where the manga is currently Keeping spoilers out. Like, I want my moderators, you're on high alert right now. You're on high alert. I want to know, in a battle right now, whether One Piece is on chapter 800, 900, or 1000. Wherever the manga is, right? Wherever the manga is, I want to know if Luffy and Zoro currently fought. Wherever the manga is, who would win that fight? Don't give me reasons. Just keep it simple. Luffy will win or Zoro will win. Let me know, okay? But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Have an awesome day.